What is up everybody, Alex from Anna Creates here and today I'm gonna walk you through connecting two USB microphones to your Mac to use at the same time in your audio recording software of choice. So something that I get asked all the time is, can I connect two USB microphones to my computer at the same time? And the answer is yes. You actually have to make a different device, which acts as kind of a group of devices so that you can have both microphones as different inputs in your recording software. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how to do that with GarageBand. This works with any software that you're gonna use, same principles apply. So first thing, connect both of your USB microphones to your computer and make sure that they are both on. Once they're both connected, before you open up your DAW, go to your applications folder and then the utilities folder. Then you'll find the application audio MIDI setup. So open that up and make sure that you're seeing the audio devices panel. If you're not seeing that, go to window and then audio devices right there. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna see all the devices that are made or attached to your computer. So currently you should be seeing both of your USB microphones connected to this or more than two if you've connected more than two. So today I have the ARTC1 USB and the AT2020 USB. Now if your USB device shows up and it has two different devices in this panel, what you're looking for is the one that has the inputs. That's just because the ARTC one has a headphone output on it. In this scenario, we're not gonna use the headphone output of this device. We're just gonna use the built-in output on our computer. So we just can ignore the outputs of our C1. Next, what we're gonna do is we need to create what's called an aggregate device, which is kind of like a little group of devices that our software, GarageBand, is gonna see as one device that it can use with multiple different inputs in it. So what we need to do for that is we go to the bottom left-hand corner, hit the plus button and hit create aggregate device. So now we have the aggregate device show up here. It has zero inputs and zero outputs currently. We're just gonna rename this so we can name it two mics. You can name it anything really, but two mics makes sense. Next, what we're gonna do is while the two mics device is selected, in the right hand side, we see all the other devices that we can now add to this aggregate device. For that, we want to add our two USB microphones. So we're gonna have the AT2020, we're gonna use that, and then we're gonna select the ARTC1 USB. We wanna make sure that we're selecting the one with one input, not the one with two outputs. So we're gonna select that to use that as well. So now you can see the AT2020 is being used and the ARTC1 is being used. Then we want to select the built-in output right here for our outputs so we can hear ourselves back. Now, one more thing to make sure is that over here, the drift correction is turned on on all devices except the first one that we selected or the main device. It doesn't really matter which one it is, just one of them won't have drift correction on and all of the other ones should. We wanna look at one more thing before we go to our software. In our aggregate device, we look at our sub devices and we see the AT2020 and the ARTC1 USB and then the build built-in output. Then we can see input channels and output channels. So the input channels, we have the green, which corresponds to the AT2020. We have channel one and two. Then we have the red here, which is channel three. So we just need to make note that channels input one and two are our AT2020 and input three is our ARTC1. We don't have to close this window so we can refer back to it. So next thing that we're gonna do once we have this aggregate device set up is we're gonna fire up GarageBand or whatever software you're using. Now in GarageBand, I'm gonna create an empty project and then what I am concerned about here is the input and output device. In the input device, we're gonna find that two mics device that we made. We're gonna select that. And then the output, we're also gonna select the two mics device that we created. Because remember, we created both inputs and outputs on that device. Depending on the software that you're using, you wanna select the interface to be two mics. So then we're gonna create this project. Now in GarageBand, the first thing we have to do is create a track. So we're gonna create a new microphone track. And the input, we're gonna make input one. Keep it easy. Create that new track. So now we have a track with input one, which if we refer back to our audio MIDI setup or what we wrote down as the inputs, input one is our AT2020 USB microphone. Now, our second microphone, remember, is input three. So that is very important now because what we're gonna do is when we go back to our audio software, we're gonna create our second track for our second microphone, new microphone track, 
create the input, but we're gonna select input three because that is our second microphone. Now this can be flip-flop depending on which microphones you're using and what order you added them to your device. This is why it's just important to see which input for which mic because we only need one input per microphone. So for this one, we're gonna create input three for our second track. I'm just gonna configure track header in GarageBand, add the record enable button because now I need two separate tracks record enabled and I can record enable both of these two tracks. Now I can see meters moving on both microphones. The AT2020 is track one and we can see the ARTC1 is track two. So now you can just hit record and enjoy recording with two USB microphones simultaneously in your recording software. Now, if you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see me do a tutorial on, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you like the content. I really would appreciate that. But that is it for today, guys. I will see you in the next video. Until then, always be creating.